Welcome back to the Climbing Nomads YouTube channel. In this episode, we look at how to check your climbing partner before setting off on any roped climb. We cover what to check in a methodical and systematic way to ensure that both of you are ready and safe to climb. Take a look at each other's harness. The first key area to check is the waistband. Checking that the harness is high enough, i.e. around the tummy button, and also tight enough. This prevents accidentally slipping out during an inversion. If leg loops are adjustable, check that they are snug to the legs. Check that all buckles are fastened securely and are double backed and making a C shape for closed. Tuck all excess tails into retaining loops and this is especially important for quick lock buckles. Finally, check there are no twists to any of the webbing parts and that the harness is the correct orientation. Gear loops hanging down are a good indication. Scrutinise not only the knot itself, but how it is attached to the harness. Check that the rope loop runs through both the top and bottom parts of the harness, so the rope loop mimics the belay loop. Next, check that the knot itself is tied correctly. In this example, we're using the re-threaded figure of eight knot. Check that there are two strands running throughout the knot, and also remember to check the back of the knot as well. Finally, check the stopper knot is tied with enough tail to the rope, so it won't come undone. A length between a thumb's length and a handspan is a good generic measurement to use. There are several points to check with the belay. Firstly, check that the rope is orientated the correct way inside the belay device, with the dead end running generally running over any grooves. Follow any pictures on the device for aid. Secondly, check that the rope and belay device together are orientated correctly into the carabiner, with the live end, the climber's rope, coming out of the belay in the direction the climber is climbing. This allows for the best lock-off and use of the belay device. Finally, check that the carabiner is clipped into the belay loop of the harness, and both belay device and rope are securely captured in the carabiner, and ensure the gate is screwed shut. Check that the helmet is orientated correctly, i.e. facing the right way, and sitting on top of the head, and not at an odd angle. Check that the chin strap is fastened, and that the helmet cradle is tight enough so the whole thing stays in place during any head movements. Harness. Check that it's high enough and tight enough, the buckles are done up and double backed, all tails are tucked in, and there are no twists in the webbing. The climber's knot. Check that it's in the harness loops. There are two strands throughout the whole knot and the stopper knot is tightened to the figure of eight with sufficient tail. B layer. Check the rope is in the device correctly and both the rope and device are orientated correctly into the carabiner. So the rope sits orientated for efficient belaying. Check the carabiner is in the belay loop with both the device and the rope and that the gate is also securely fastened. We hope you found this video useful. If you are in any doubt, please do seek the help of a mountaineering and climbing instructor. Stay safe and have fun climbing. <laughs>